Li Zhenmei is the boss of a wedding studio in Penang, Malaysia. Growing up in a poor family, she dreamed of having money and power, but just when she had everything she wanted, she felt empty and hollow inside. She put up an invisible wall between herself and her colleagues until her daughter shared a Jinsi aphorism with her and everything started to change. As a stylist and the owner of a wedding studio, Li Zhenmei always greets her customers with a smile, but underneath, she mistrusted everyone, a problem that could be traced back to her unhappy childhood. My family was very poor. My clothes had holes in them, so people would roll their eyes at me, and none of my classmates would play with me. That characteristic made me mistrust everyone after I grew up, because I thought there was no compassion in the world. People would only accept you if you had money. Although Li Zhenmei got the successful business and happy family she dreamt of, she still felt unfulfilled and terrified of losing it all. Because I'm deeply mistrustful, I kept a distance between me and my staff, which caused a lot of office problems at work. I was just paying to do a job and they were only working for me for the money. So there was no emotional attachment and no one stayed because they liked the boss. Staff turnover was very high. The cold-hearted boss was completely turned around by her little daughter, who goes to a Tsuji kindergarten and likes sharing Jingsa aphorisms with her mother. One saying, to forgive others is in fact being kind to ourselves, amazed her. Something her daughter told her when she lost her temper one time suddenly made her understand. I don't know why I got so angry, but, but I grabbed a stick and hit her. I asked her, are you angry that mommy just hit you? And I was amazed when my child answered me, No, mommy, it doesn't matter, I forgive you. I wondered why a four-year-old child could understand something that I had never understood, even though I was in my thirties. I didn't know how to let go or how to forgive people, so I was always living in hatred and had never had a happy day, so I thought it was time for a change. The Jingsa aphorism changed Lee's life. Now she goes to work wearing a big smile, greets customers in a friendly way, and treats her many employees like members of the family. Before, she was very difficult to get along with. She was very unreasonable. She wouldn't trust anything we told her. She would rather trust herself. But after joining Tsuji, she changed a lot. When I gave birth, I was very moved because she was by my side all the way. As well as personally getting to know her employees, Li also gives to charity. Invited by Tsuji kindergarten teachers, Li Zhenmei is now an active Da Ai mother. These years I've really lived life to the full, because I no longer worry about whether I'm being taken advantage of or if I'm on top. In Tsuji we don't talk about that. We just do it and get a field of blessing in return. Slowly I've come to understand that wisdom.